Well, rough day yesterday, Mets fans. Rough day. On a day where we have a game five, Rangers, Eastern Conference Finals, series tied 2-2, no bigger story. I'm coming on here to talk about the Mets because yesterday was one of those days, and we've had many, many of them, where it just is rock bottom. Is it rock bottom? Is it not rock bottom? We know it can get worse, Mets fans, right? We all know it can get worse. It might be rock bottom. It might not be. Just to go over yesterday, what happened, the the Mets got swept by the Braves. They were down 3 nothing. seventh inning. They came back. They got, they got three runs, showing a little fight, right? Tied the game. Bottom of the seventh, Adam Montevito comes in, first pitch, home run. Gets himself in all kinds of trouble. Will Smith hit the home run. Then they bring in uh, Jorge Lopez. Jorge Lopez has a disaster outing, including giving up a two-run home run to Shohei Otani. He he ends up arguing with the third base umpire about a swing, no swing call. It wasn't a swing. It wasn't even close to a swing. He argues with him. We learn later that he clearly just was looking to get thrown out, but he argues he gets tossed from the game. He gets ejected. The manager comes out. Lopez walks off the field. As he's walking off the field, he hurls his glove into the stands. About 10 rows deep, it's caught by a Yankees fan, just to make things worse, right? Just to icing on the cake. He then proceeds to go into the locker room and in the postgame show, by the way, during after he went into the locker room, the Mets gave up more runs. They gave up seven runs in the seventh inning. They lost the game 10 to three. They got swept by the Dodgers. They scored five runs in the three games against the Dodgers. Five runs. They got decent starting pitching. The bullpen stinks now. So it's just reversed, right? It's it, They can't both be good at the same time. So it's it's now it's the starting pitching. Okay. Bullpen terrible. He goes into the locker room post game, talks to the media and says, asked if he regrets throwing the glove into the crowd. He says, no. And then he says, I've been on the worst team in probably the whole FNMLB. MLB. See ya. DFA. Which he, he clearly was trying to get. He, I mean, he clearly wanted just off, <laughs> off this team. And can you blame him? Can you blame him? Because I like off the fan base too. I, I won't because I can't. Because it's, you know, part of you. Nobody chooses to be Mets fans. Nobody chooses to be Mets fans. So let's be real. Now, that wasn't all that happened yesterday. Pete Alonzo was hit in the hand, same hand like last year. X rays were negative, but he's out. Wouldn't surprise me if in a week from now they find a small, small bone fracture or something like that. It, I can't even. Edwin Diaz, out. Shoulder soreness. Now, is that Edwin Diaz really shoulder soreness? Or is it Edwin Diaz shoulder soreness? And with air quotes, and it's maybe I don't want to pitch anymore because I don't want to embarrass myself. Or maybe it's the Mets saying we don't want you to embarrass us anymore. So we're going to, you know, give you a little break. They also had a team meeting yesterday called by Francisco Lindor. Why they're having a team meeting now and not two weeks ago. It's not like it just got bad here in the Dodgers series. They're 22 and 33 for the season. They are now five. Um, let's see. They are now five. I'm sorry, seven and 19 in the month of May this year. Is it the worst month in the, in the team's history? No, no, of course not. We've seen this many, many times. Some of the bad months recently, just recently. I won't even go back to the 60s where it was a, a, you know, every month was a bad month. Just recently. 2012, in July, they were 7 and 18. 2014, they were, uh, they started 15 and 11. And then in May, they went 11 and 18. 2018, our friend Mickey Calloway, who you heard on this show, his first year, they started 11 and 1, 11 and 1. And then May hit, and they went 10 and 18. Then June hit, they went 5 and 21. Last year, May again, they were 7 and 19. This year, 
May. They are seven and nineteen with two games left to play. They could get to seven and twenty-one, which I don't see why they wouldn't. Right? There's nothing that says they're going to win any of these two games. It's just over and over and over again. I went Zenga. Remember Zenga, the guy who pitched well last year, our best pitcher, the guy who got hurt in the, right before the season. And the guy who I told you would not be back to July, even though the Mets and the doctors said four to six weeks, he'll be good to go. Setback for, as for Zenga. Another setback. And, and it's July. I told you. It's not a, like I'm not bragging or anything because it's not a hard thing. It wasn't a hard thing to predict. July. And now it, I wouldn't even bring him back at this point. Take the whole year off. Re- relax because they're not going nowhere. We got to watch this garbage for the rest of the season. The summer hasn't started yet. The Rangers are still playing. And I can't even get into this team now for a week or two after the Rangers because it's already in the tank. We have stra- we have the David uh, Strawberry Daryl on Saturday. Can we at least fill the building that day so we're not embarrassing ourselves? Like we did during Doc's day. With empty seats all over the place. I get it. The team stinks. I get it. You don't want to go. You don't want to give Steve Cohen your money. Do it for Daryl. Fill the building. Please. He deserves it. This team deserves nothing. Daryl deserves you to have your ass in the seat on Saturday. Jorge Lopez, you know, he's gone. He got what he wanted. He's an he's an average to below average reliever. He'll get picked up somewhere. He got exactly what he wanted. I don't blame him for, for wanting off this team. I, who, who wouldn't want off this team? Look at the look at the contract year for our best player, Pete Alonzo. It's his contract year. He's supposed to have fantastic year, right? It's supposed to be better than all your other years because you're playing for money. You're playing for your, your one big contract. He stinks. Lindor, we're stuck with Lindor. You're not getting rid of Lindor. Nobody's going to want Lindor. Nobody's going to take that contract. We're stuck with Lindor. He stinks. Beatty, the next big third baseman that we had, stinks. Uh, McNeil, who we signed just two years ago, won a batting title. Great hitter, our our next great hitter, stinks. How many years do we have to put up with this? This is year four of Steve Cohen. Remember what he promised coming in. I will deliver a championship within five years. <laughs> you got to just laugh at it. So after the game, they had a team meeting. Apparently it was, uh, you know, you, you stay positive. Things are going to get better. It's a long season. Listen, don't, why are you even bothering? They're currently now 11 games under 500. The whole thing's gone into the tank. It's just, it's it's just after Memorial Day. Summer hasn't officially started. The Rangers are still playing. It's not even the Stanley Cup Finals where it's June. And there is zero hope for this team. Zero. And we couldn't even throw the mitt into the stands to a Mets fan. It had to be caught by a Yankees fan. And this is going to be a long, long summer because the Yankees are good. And they're going to be playing in front of 40,000, 50,000 every night. And you're going to be able to count the people in City Field. Let's hope at least we can fill the place for Daryl on Saturday. Do the right thing by one of our great players. I wasn't going to go. I'm going now. I will be there. Because we've been embarrassed enough. Let's not do it to ourselves now. I don't blame you for not wanting to go watch this team. I don't. I don't want to go watch this team. They stink. But let's go there on Saturday. And let's give Daryl the day he deserves. The day he's earned. As far as the, the, the current team goes. Forget it. Sell everybody. Get rid of everybody. Nobody. Everything that's not nailed down. Get rid of it. I know you you know no one's gonna want Lindor. Try offer him. Alonzo, see ya. Everybody. 
If it's not nailed down, it's willing to be included into a trade. Because this is garbage. And in, uh, like I said, it's not the worst. We've seen much more. We've seen worse. The manager stinks. The manager's going to go. Listen, the manager's going to survive this year. He's going to be gone. And Stearns, I mean, does this really look like a brilliant guy to you? I know it's not his team that, that he really put together, but, but come on. Let these guys go have good careers somewhere else. Former Met, now good. You know, Alonzo can Alonzo will be an excellent former Met, now good. So will McNeil. So will Nimmo, if you let him go. Let these guys go. Let them join the list of former Met, now good. At least do that for them. Jorge Lopez, I, I, I expect to be seeing him pitch big innings in a relief appearance in a World Series later this year. For some team, right? <laughs> ah, it's a disaster. We shouldn't even be talking about the Mets today. We shouldn't be talking about the Mets at all today. It should be the Rangers. But you, how could you pass up the gold that was yesterday? <sighs> it's not easy, folks. It's not easy being a Mets fan. I mean, what are you going to do, right? You just take the cards that you were dealt and you try and make the best with it. And it's, listen, we know how to act. We've been here before. This isn't nothing new. Like I said, look, July 2012, 7 and 18. 2014, May 11 and 18. 2018, May 10 and 18. June 5 and 21. Last year, June 7 and 19. 2024, May 7, uh, 7 and 19. Two left to play. They'll get to 7 and 21. Don't you worry. We'll talk to you guys tonight after the Ranger game. Maybe they could get a win at least, huh? I'm Bob Walters. See ya.